Hey, Chara. You heard Pap talking about an Undyne character, right? What do you think of her? Uh, I'm not sure if we weren't attacked because she didn't know if they were really human or if it was because that kid was there, but either way, if that's Undyne, we are in big trouble. Huh? Huh? Who on earth has our number? Hello, this is Papyrus. How did he... How did I get this number? Oh. It was easy. I just dialed every number sequently until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? Yes! So you are wearing a bandana. Got it! Wink, wink. Have a nice day. She really did see you. Mm. Any chance of Yara Chara meeting Drunk Chara? What is this SJW garbage? Mm. Tall first, small, who will win? Unfortunately, canon of this blog dictates they may never truly meet, but we can all dream. I change out of that bandana, put the tutu on instead. After all, if it's the bandana that Undyne identifies you with, maybe you can fool her with the tutu. Frisk, change so, your outfit to you trick Undyne. Can you change out of that thing as soon as possible? Perfect! She'll never catch you now. You look like a whole new human. In fact, what's a human? Who are you? Ah, what you worried about? I thought the human already died once. Unless loading resets their memories. That's not really it. Nothing bad happens if the kid dies, but it sucks having to pick back up from the last save point. And they don't act like it, but I feel a little of what they feel. They've got to go through a lot of pain. Chara, stay determined. All that aside, it brings up some bad memories. Do you think the human looks a little bit like you? Maybe as much as a human looks like another human? Hmm. Uh. In regards to your last ask, do you know what the other humans might look like? Maybe they all look like the human you're with. A monster might not be able to tell a few humans apart, but I know what humans look like. I seriously doubt anyone who fell down here looked that similar. Unless they were like twins or something. How much time has passed since the kid fell? I don't know when they fell, and even though the phone has a clock on it, we didn't check it when we got it. They were sleeping for a while at home, too. <laughs> I'd have to guess, maybe, since we left the ruins. Two, three hours? A long time ago, long time monsters ago. would whisper monsters their wishes, wishes, to, the whisper wishes the to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have now are these have sparkling, have sparkling stones, 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 stones. Thousands of people Thousands wishing of together people can't be wrong. Can't the, be the king wrong. will prove that. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Take a wish. Take a wish. I wish my sister. I wish my sister. And I will see the real star someday. Why did you want to free the monsters onto the surface when your life there was so bad? Because they deserve better than this. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside of the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul? Hmm? A horrible beast with unfathomable power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs>